So we begin with the life of a 50-year-old woman from the Ashanti region town of Antoa who is in limbo as the patient who is in dire need of blood at the Menshia Government Hospital remains uncertain as to when she will get at least a pint of blood to save her life. Her relatives say they risk losing her if she does not get access to blood. The woman on referral from a private health facility has been in need of blood since Wednesday. Her sister, Ya Nyakun, says the family is in effect as they await divine intervention. She spoke with Ohim Interior of our health desk who has been monitoring the impact of the strike. Relatives say results from blood samples taken to the laboratory have not returned since Wednesday as the blood banks remain closed due to the ongoing strike by the laboratory scientists. The labs at the Menchia Government Hospital also remain locked as stranded patients struggle for their services. A sister of the woman in dying need of blood, Yanyaku, expressed the family's frustrations. <laughs> My sister has been on admission here. She was admitted three days ago. My sister is in dire need of blood. The laboratory scientists were supposed to have returned the result yesterday so they can start the transfusion. But we came yesterday only to be told the laboratory scientists are on strike. We are confused as to where we can get her blood. Do the laboratory scientists want to see my sister dead before they return to work? We, we know the discomfort that, that the patients go through. Responding to the concerns of the family, Ashanti Regional Chairman of the Ghana Association of Medical Laboratory Scientists, Eric Kofiadu said there's little the striking members can do to save the woman. He suggests the relatives arrange to get the woman transferred to a private facility. I feel bad to hear her story. But uh, I think that me feeling bad for her uh, should also prompt the government uh, also to resolve this matter once and for all. In fact, uh, it is not a wish, it is not a liking that uh, issues should get uh, this way. Uh, if I had my own will, maybe I would have uh, helped her out. But unfortunately, the blood bank is locked. The medical soup and the administrator have locked up the place because they feel that once the strike is also on, there's, there's no reason for lab scientists to be around. And so there's nobody around and the offices are all locked. And so in her, her, her situation, I, I wish I could help, but unfortunately, nothing can really ha ha happen now. Taking her out of the ho hospital is an option, but uh, unfortunately, where exactly is she taking her to? Uh, maybe to a private facility who may have the blood to give, but to a public facility, I doubt, because the same lab scientists should be around to help them. Unfortunately, the lab scientists are not there. So maybe the only option now is for her to take her to a private hospital. But the family say they can no longer afford the cost of private care after a similar adventure at a brim had drained the family. We have spent so much on her condition ever since we came here. Even then, she's yet to receive optimum care. She insisted we take her home to die or resort to consumption of vegetable to regain blood. But we cannot gamble with her safety. She should be helped as quickly as possible. From Kumasi, for Joy News, Ohim Interia reporting. That was a report by Ohim Interior of our health desk. The Ghana Federation of Allied Health Professions joined the ongoing nationwide industrial action by laboratory scientists describing the posting of physicians to work in medical laboratories as one with the potential to disturb the peace of the country. It marks an escalation of a strike which started at the Konfanochi Teaching Hospital in Kumasi and gained momentum when laboratory scientists in other public facilities across the country joined in solidarity with their colleagues. In a press release issued by the Federation and signed by General Secretary Franklin Ousuan 
it expressed shock at the root cause of the industrial action, which is the posting of a physician to head the medical laboratory. Head of our health desk, Fred Smith, joins me via phone with more. Um, Fred, tell us about the Ghana Federation of Allied Health Professions and why their strike. All right, so um, f head of our health desk will join very soon, but General Secretary of the Ghana Federation of Allied Health Professions, Franklin Ousu and Sam told, has joined via Zoom. Mr. Uh, Ousu and Sam, you say in your statement that failure to resolve the matter will lead to undesirable ramifications. What ramifications do you see unfolding if the matter is not resolved? And I'm the General Secretary for Health Services Workers Union. The Federation of Allied Health Professionals is 18 different professions who fall under the Health Services Workers Union, a bigger umbrella of about 4,000 workers of the health workforce. Uh, the, yes, it's true, I have issued a statement on behalf of the Health Services Workers Union. And the uh, uh, medical sciences are one of the 18 professionals who fall for under the Health Services Workers Union. Uh, the issue that is at stake is not an issue against one person. It is an issue of implementation of lab policy that was developed in 2013, which should be implemented, which will regulate laboratory practice in Ghana. Unfortunately, the ministry have not been able to implement this. Similar actions have started long ago. It started from Kolebu and it did not work. All that uh, the laboratory scientists are saying is that let the policy work. And you will agree with me that there is a regulator, that is the Allied Health Professions Council, which regulates laboratory practice, and anybody at all who needs to work in the laboratory needs to get a skin and a license. So if you don't have a license, you cannot practice in the lab. This is what they are saying. There's some years back, lab professions in Ghana where diploma holders have been evolved and developed, and now we have degree, MPhil, and PhD holders in this field. So if anybody says that if you are not a medical doctor, you can't head a lab, in fact, that is so, too serious for us to clean things off. And so we're saying that there is a possible ramification if this action is not resolved or the time is not resolved by the ministry. Then the allied health profession, that is the other seven things, who give a solidarity strike. And if it is at least this escalate, then the whole union, that's the forty thousand members, will join. The eighteen allied health professions put together, there is about twelve thousand employees in the health sector. So this is what we are we are looking at. This is the broader issue we are looking at. All that we are saying the ministry should step in, resolve the matter, and implement the policy. Thank you. Now, it turns out the National Labor Commission says the strike by the lab scientists is illegal and has secured a court order to get them to call it off. What becomes of your strike if those you are solidarizing with call of their action? Thank you. As we speak, I have not seen the order. And uh, yes, the National Labor Commission knows that... Uh, we are in an essential service, and if we have an issue, it should be resolved in seven days. Ask the National Labor Commission. Have they done that? About two years ago, this same matter went to the National Labor Commission. They have not been able to resolve it. Today, if somebody is taking another action, then they will tell you the action is illegal. Have they resolved the issue that is before them? Um. Hello? Uh, yes, Mr. Ms. Oswansa, you are still on Joy News Prime. Yeah, thank you. And I'm saying that it is not for me to say whether a strike action is legal or illegal, but it rests with the National Labor Commission. Fine. Mm. But the same Labor Commission knows that as health workers, if we have any issue, it should be resolved in seven days. Two years ago, this matter came before them. 
Have they been able to resolve it? What have they done about it? So whose action is illegal here? If they know they have to resolve this matter and they have not resolved it in two years, whose action is then illegal? Well, I'm grateful for your time. Mr. Franklin Uswansa is the Deputy General Secretary of the Health Services Workers Union.